Hey, what is up, guys? This is BC Elite Gamer here. Um, bringing you back another Minecraft Pocket Edition video. But this is not going to be a Hunger Games or a Spleef or anything like that. This is going to be a video on Minecraft Pocket Edition skins. About how you can get them easily and how you can get them... For, I don't know if this works for Android, but you can get it for iOS now. Which I hadn't been able to do the get skins for iOS until I found this out. So, first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go to your app store. Now, this does require an app, but it does not cost any money. So, the app is called Skin Editor. You're going to type that in. Uh, it is this thing here. So I had already downloaded it before. That's why you should do that. But you're going to have to type in a password for this. So I'm going to cover up the screen quick. So, yeah. But now that it is downloading, as you can see, you're going to open that app up. You're going to need this app for this tutorial. Now, in this video, it may look harder than it seems, but it is very easy to get this. So, you're going to need to open up this. And then you might... Whoa. And you might just go want to, um, hate when that happens. You might just gonna want to turn it over, but now you're gonna see new skin. You're gonna click on that. Now you can go from the click on from the skin website. Now there's all these skin websites that you can choose from, but I recommend using the first one, MinecraftSkins.net. So that's just what I'm gonna click on here. It's gonna bring me here. Um, and you can see there's all these skins here. Now, I'm just gonna type in a random skin here. We'll say Creeper. And you can search that up. And then all these images of the whatever you typed in or searched up will come here. So, I'm just gonna pick a random skin. Tap on whatever skin you want. It'll come up here and then there's going to be three things you can do edit download or change you're going to want to click download and then it's going to say do you want to use the skin you click use the skin now you got to give it a name i'll just type in creeper this does not matter what you do it so you're going to click edit in 2d or 3d anything like that now you do not have to edit it but if you do want to edit it, you can edit it now. For example, changing green to that. But if you want to get rid of it, you can just do the minus paintbrush and put it back. So then you're going to click this little box with a, um arrow coming out the top of it. And there's going to be a lot of things. You're going to click Photo Library. And it's saving the photo. If this works properly, it should say Save. And... It's going to say, it may appear blurry, but that doesn't really matter because it appears right in Minecraft. Now you're going to exit out of that and go to Minecraft. Open up Minecraft. And this one. Then go to options. Go to the skin button. See, right now, I'm a clown right now, but you can change that you're gonna click on your camera roll and, and you should have this type of picture the picture with all the weird boxes and stuff but that'll work um now when you get to this it doesn't matter which one you choose just touch on one i usually pick the right one now you should have your skin so that's good um so now i can show you 
that would be the regular skin. But I'm going to show you in a Minecraft server, whoops, what it would look like. So, I'll just get on one of my servers. Or, just demonstrate it on a world. If this is one. So I'm going to demonstrate it on a world. Um... Uh, and it does work for servers too. The skin does work for um, this. So, in this world, used to be if I didn't change this, I would have like the regular Steve skin. But now, once I look at it, I have my actual skin. So, Skin Editor is a very good app, guys. I would really recommend getting it. And. This is BC Elite Gamer signing off to learn more tricks, tips, and other things. Just listen to me on my videos, and you should learn a lot. Now subscribe, and peace out.